There's been a lot of talk lately about the strength of Sage, primarily because every ability in her kit has a crazy amount of utility and use. Not having a Sage on your team puts you at a significant disadvantage if the enemy does. Even what could be considered her least powerful ability, Slow Orb, is still an essential tool to use to slow and reveal the enemy position. We've collected the community's best orb lineups, and in this video we will cover one general purpose, less common one, on every point, on every map. I am both shield and sword. On the map split, when setting up for a push onto A, position yourself farther back here in A lobby. Align yourself on the first step of this hedge wall section and aim towards ramps. Run your crosshair up the left side of this bit of the wall that sticks out and finish on top of the stack. When you fire, the orb should land on top of a commonly held angle on ramps, covering the entire entrance to heaven as well. On defense, position yourself in the back corner of heaven's balcony, looking towards the enemy spawn. Position your crosshair on the corner of this feature, then jump and fire during the apex. This should land the orb on the smaller ramp leading into A, greatly hindering any peaks or pushes coming from there. When getting ready to push B, press yourself up against this metal fence outside of the garage. Aim between the edge of the building and the light on it, and fire. This orb should land directly onto heaven, making the peak and push just a little bit safer. On defense, if B is being pushed onto and you have to rotate from A, a simple rush may not be the best choice. Center yourself along this corner wall and defender spawn hallway. Aim upwards and center the crosshair between this antenna and the back corner portion of this wall. After firing, the orb should land behind the pillar of B site, an area that is commonly hidden when the attackers have control of the point. When attacking A on Haven, position yourself in the back corner of A long on top of this wheelbarrow. Aim just slightly below the small flower shown here that is to the left of the big flower. When firing, you will find that the orb lands directly onto Heaven overlooking the whole site making your follow-up push and peak a little safer. Defending the A point and coming from a rotation from B or C, get in the left corner of this wall exiting B. Aim at the under corner of this roof of this building and fire. The orb should bounce and spread over the attacker side of the point, possibly forcing the enemy to relocate or at least making the engage more favorable. On B attack, place yourself centered against this wooden part at the very back of spawn. Aim at the top of this feature of the building and fire. This should have the orb land at the front side of B point and enable a safer peek for your teammates that are in the window. B's defense orb is a mirror of these same angles. Place yourself in the center of the shield against the wall in the back of sight. Aim at the right corner of this wall's feature here. Jump and fire just after starting to fall from the apex of the jump. This should have the orb land and cover the entirety of B window. When attacking C long, get in the back left corner of lobby. Aim at the top of this roof's feature and fire. It should land in the C-short entrance of the site, revealing and covering any rotations or hold angles from that blind spot. If having to retake C from defender's side, stand on this metal section and run up until you are pressed against the middle. Look upwards and find the two lights sticking out. Aim a bit towards the left of the bottom one and fire. This orb will land directly in the center of sight, covering the back of the crates in the middle and potentially stopping or slowing down a push. Attacking A on the map bind, stand on this green sack in the corner. Aim between these two features of the roof and run your crosshair up to end up just above the wires. Firing should have the orb land directly on the balcony of heaven, forcing any players playing there to second guess their positioning. When defending B and finding out that all the attackers are pushing A, hop up on this small cushion in hookah. Look up through the skylight and try to get your cursor roughly in this area intersecting between these features. The orb should land on this peaking area of A short, slowing down the attacker's push and giving your team more time to rotate. When attacking B, first make sure that mid is clear, then position yourself in the back right corner of this area. Aim directly up and find the corner of the sheet metal roof. Run your crosshair down slightly and fire. If everything was done correctly, the orb should land and spread over B elbow, allowing your teammates to push B long easier. Finally, defending B point, get up against the wall and crate here in the middle of sight. Aim upwards but keeping the cylinder horizontally straight on your screen. Firing this should have the orb run through the skylight in hookah and land in the back covering most of the area. This will enable your team to more confidently push through the window and retake the area. And that's all of them. Keep in mind that most of the time your slow orbs should be reactionary to the information you already have. But it is not always wrong to scout the enemy team with them if the situation calls for it. Thanks for watching, and let us know if you want more guide videos like this one in the comments below.